Under six months until the World Cup and the stadium in the city of Curitiba is still one giant construction zone, a flurry of vehicles and activity. The $160 million Arena da Baixada is so far behind schedule that FIFA Secretary General Jerome Valk gave the city an ultimatum of February 18th to speed things up or risk having the World Cup pulled from the city. So on the 18th of February, we, meaning the local organizing committee, the government, the city of Curitiba and FIFA, will have to decide if the level of work which will be done between now and the 18th of February give us the confidence that the stadium will be ready to organize and to host World Cup games. This is big because it's the first time anyone from FIFA has ever publicly admitted that maybe one of the host cities will not be ready. But with tickets sold and four matches scheduled in the group stage, changing venues now would be highly complicated and a slap to Brazil something the sports minister wants to avoid. All of our energy is being put into taking measures that guarantee the Piranha Stadium for the World Cup in 2014. This is the effort we are making. FIFA officials are spending the week touring several of the host cities most delayed. Six of the 12 promised stadiums are not yet completed, and FIFA is ratcheting up the pressure, reminding everyone that there will be no World Cup without stadiums. But privately, Brazilian officials think they will get everything done in time and are annoyed by what they perceive as heavy-handedness on the part of the football governing body. That's likely a point of discussion when President Dilma Rousseff meets with FIFA boss Joseph Blatter in Zurich on Thursday. For now, FIFA isn't completely ready to officially pull the World Cup from Curitiba, but it's moving in that direction. Gabriel Ozando, Al Jazeera, Sao Paulo.